What we're going to do right now is show you how to uh, clean out the uh, triple filters inside of the micro filter here on the Vactor 2100. Uh, the other video that we showed had the uh, single basket filter. This one has the triple. So uh, what you do is uh, make sure that you do all your lockout tagout procedures and your engine is shut off. And so uh, that way uh, you don't have to worry about um, this uh, unit firing up on you. So the first thing you do is is loosen up the strong back and the strong back just holds the uh, the uh, front plate against the rubber gasket to create the seal so you uh, unscrew it and as you can see is the it's coming uh, away from the draw bar the internal draw bar and then once this is uh, unscrewed then it'll pivot to the side and what I like to do is uh, use a bungee cord and then uh, then you can this will uh, you can use it to hold uh, the door back while you're uh, working on it. So uh, as you look inside here, um, you'll see the uh, triple filters. You'll see your strong back bolt and your rubber gasket. So uh, this one's different from the uh, older models where the gasket was actually attached to the door. On this one, the gasket's on the inside here. So what you'll begin to do first is uh, unscrew the strong back. It's a triple leg strong back. You bring this out till the strong back becomes loose. And if you move it to the center, it'll be easy for you to, uh, to remove the three baskets. Now, if you notice back inside of the basket, there's a pin, which is an alignment pin. And that way, when you put the baskets back in, then uh, the pin will, uh, will guide you so it's sitting square. So you remove your three uh, baskets. And uh, first thing you do is you inspect them. They're made out of stainless steel, so um, that will prevent corrosion inside of the area. So make sure that they're, they're all in good shape and uh, operating order. Now these, we already had uh, uh, cleaned them out just to, uh, to expedite the video time. But a lot of times when you pull these things out, they're full of uh, de debris and sediment. So you want to wire brush them off and then hose them down to make sure they're all clean. Um, now what you want to do is uh, inspect your gasket to make sure that it's in uh, good operable shape. There's no cracks and it's still soft and, and uh, malleable. You know, check your strong back to make sure that it's not bent or deformed and the, uh, the bolt here is in good shape. Now this bolt right here is carbon steel so um, and the strong back uh, are, uh, are aluminum so you want to make sure they're in good shape a lot of times you get like moisture and uh, and uh, humidity in here so it's a good uh, uh, area for corrosion so make sure your bolts are in good shape at this time you want to take the opportunity to get a little anti-seize and dress the threads up a little bit so uh, so it protects them from rusting and then uh, what you'll do now is uh, reinstall the the filters so make sure you're your triple strong back is is uh, aligned like this right here. So when you put your filters back in, you'll slide it on in there. And then what you'll do is you make sure that the alignment pin goes into the back here and this fits flush up against the face. You do the same for the other two. Now, if you notice on these, these baskets, there's like a, a machined um, a shoulder here, a register. So when you, you align your strong back, you want to make sure that the strong back legs fit down inside that machine register. So when you tighten this unit up, you just want to line these up as you go. And now you can see where 
if it's sitting down inside here, it's going to prevent it from spinning around and, and rattling. So you just now that we got it all inside the register, you tighten it down, snug, and you're good to go. Okay, so there you go. Now, before you close up the hatch, you want to make sure you get a little WD-40 and spray it on the gasket. Release your and close it carefully. Now, because the strong back is made out of aluminum, you want to take your time on screwing it in and make sure that it doesn't cross thread. So you want to just move the door around. And once you get it started, you get a little anti-seize and, uh, and coat the inside of the threads. Like I said, you want to prevent that corrosion and galling of the threads. So as this is threading together, you want to make sure, you know, kind of move the flange around just to make sure that it's fitting flush all the way around. You got a good seal. So once you're insured that, tighten it up and you're good to go. Now the next step is to uh, remove your lockout tag out um, cards and uh, make sure the procedures are, are met on your, uh, on your isolation uh, procedures and then uh, you're free to start the unit up and uh, 